Hello guys, welcome back to another episode of The Toby Show. I'm here with my awesome boyfriend, King. So, we're gonna, today's episode, we're gonna talk about King's sexuality. It's something a lot of people like me don't understand. So, could you please explain it to people like me that don't understand? <laughs> I don't even know what that sexuality is. Okay, he is demisexual, Ellie? Demisexual? <laughs> yeah, demisexual. Okay. So, so demisexual is basically you don't have sex with people unless you have a emotional connection with them. So, for example, if if I meet someone for the first time, I'm not going to have sex with them right away. I'm like, someone I know. Listen, I know I'm a hoe, but I, but I own it. But I, I get to know them first. And then once like I have a emotional attachment to them, then we can start talking about sex. So when did you realize... That was your sexuality. Like, what age did you realize that was your sexuality? Um, probably when I turned 21. What just made it click for you? Oh, my God. That's why I'm, like, did someone say, like, oh, my God, that's me? Like, how'd you find out that's what you are? So, it was when I had my, um, it was actually when I had my first boyfriend. And, um... <laughs> when I worked at Amazon. Yeah. So, we were hanging out. Nothing yet. Mm -hmm. And then, we basically started dating. Mm -hmm. And then, basically after that, we started chatting a little. And then we started, like, going it with sex. But it was still too early. Mm -hmm. um, and once we started doing it, like, I felt uncomfortable because I didn't you know, know him that well. And mm -hmm. then um, I actually follow a YouTuber, Caitlin V, mm -hmm. which on YouTube, she's a sex coach. Oh, shit. And we were talking about uh, videos, about uh, explaining the different variety of different sexual identities mm -hmm. within the LGBTQ community mm -hmm. and she was talking about being demisexual. Oh shit. And I'm like, that is me. That is so me. So that that's when I figured out that besides me being demisexual and gay. Yeah. I'm also <laughs> psychosexual. Did you um have you told people? Your friends, your family? Or, or are they like, we don't understand? I mean, they understand it. Um, I've told, I've told my friends, my roommates, mm -hmm. and actually one of them is also demisexual. The other girl I work with, <laughs> she says she is. She says she can do hookups. She has to know people. The person before she like, hooks up with them. Um, my thing is this, I, I just think it's interesting that, you know, it's new sexuality that a lot of people are, and I'm like, oh, and I'm trying, trying to wrap, wrap my mind around it, so I'm like, what? That, so how demisexuals feel is like if you just went up to a random say, stranger and said, oh, let's have sex. Mm. Like, oh. so y'all, so demisexuals, demisexuals don't do random hookups, they have to know the person in advance. Yeah. <laughs> Damn. Which, I mean, it's not a bad thing because a lot of people in this world have diseases and shit and they don't tell people. Yeah. And so then people get in a situation. So, y'all, um, something crazy has happened. He has a daddy and I actually know his daddy. Yeah. From like two years ago. And it just shows that the gay world's a small world. Well, the entire world is a small world. Dude. But especially yeah. the gay <laughs> dating yeah. scene. Yeah, but yeah, his uh, yeah, it's crazy because I was like, when you showed me a picture of him, I was like, he looked familiar. I was like, oh, that's the dude. <laughs> but yeah, he's he's sweet. I'm gonna be in, in a situation with him. Um, so 
when do you think you're going to go to Houston to see him again? Probably, probably in two months. I want to go with you in two months. Well, May- well, the thing is, it's part of Back. the community that we're into. Oh, goodness. And we're probably going to go to a, a amusement park. Oh, shit. I, I'm trying to get them to go, but um, he said, um, you know, like, he doesn't have a lot of money. So mm-hmm. I'm actually, um, I haven't talked to my friend yet, but I'm trying to help him get, like, a free ticket. So, t- tell me about DoorDash. Do you like doing DoorDash, or...? It, it's okay. I'd rather do um, Uber uh, Uber Eats or Uber Rideshare. Oh. Um, U- I'd rather do Uber Rideshare just because all you have to do is pick up people, drop them off, and then the next person, here we go. Uh, yeah, I don't know. You just have to be careful doing that because there's a lot of crazy people out there. I've heard horror stories of drivers and shit. You know yeah. the lady, just like a couple months ago, she got killed. Her Uber, uh, she didn't, she picked up a guy doing Uber and the guy actually killed her from, and stole the money from her. And in the video, she's telling the guy, she's like, she's like, she's like, I have a family. And he's like, I have a family too. And, and like, he ended up killing her. And I'm like, what the fuck? I mean, that's the thing. <laughs> I'm always paranoid because, because you never know, you know, about the situation. Yeah. Yeah. So, um, do you think it's going to last with daddy? Look at daddy? Yeah. You just have that, that, uh, connection. Yeah, special connection. So, how do you feel about, about being in a little <laughs> poly situation with me and Jacob and Cutie Pie? Who's this Cutie Pie Hayden? Right? Yes, that's his name. Hey. Like, I I feel good, but, like, as. I like stuff to work on. I got stuff to work on. Yeah, and, um, like, if the polycule group gets too big, then it's like, how are you going to, you know, give enough attention to each person? Well, I mean, it's like today, I let you and Cootie Pie go do DoorDash, have y'all's time, because I'm like, I don't want to do the other day to do it. So I'm like, so y'all have y'all's time. <coughs> Yo, which I think, I think we need to do as individuals, like, you know, like, when we, when we see Little Mermaid, y'all want I don't know what Teddy Bear to see Transformers because I want some quality time with him so that way y'all can go geek, geek out fucking Little Mermaids. Yeah, and um, like within the polycule group, like we gotta understand what like we want in the relationship. Like, I definitely know me, Hayden, and Jacob yeah. too. Uh-huh. We're we're in the part of having a romantic relationship, and like when it comes to you and me, that's more of a uh, sexual relationship. Well, I mean, I don't want it to always be like a sexual thing. I'm just like you know, like like I'm fine with with you know y'all feeling like y'all going to steal y'all see flowers. Oh my god, let me buy Toby roses just so he knows I'm thinking of him. You know. She, Stupid cheesy shit like that. Like, well, <laughs> I'm easy. Well, to we're like romance. Well, we're thinking of romantic, like doing stuff together, not just you know giving. Well, each other I mean, stuff. it's like a picnic. Like, I want to go on a fucking picnic. Like, I really want us to do that as a group. Like, go on a picnic. You know, pack sandwiches, g- go to a park. Just you know, yeah, and and like play soccer or volleyball or something. Like, do like a fun group activity. That doesn't cost money. Yeah, and also, like, do do activities that we're all interested in. Well, I mean, it's like with you, you like superhero stuff. Like, The Flash, I know you want to see that. We kind of all want to go see that. Just like the Barbie movie, we all want to go see that. It's like, we have similar interests. It's just like, you like horror movies, I like horror movies. Some of the people in the group don't like horror movies. And they also don't like true crime stuff. I love fucking love true crime. And I, I love my reality TV. Like, those are the stuff I like. I don't know. 
we just all kind of have a different interest. It's just like you and Jacob and Cutie Pie, you all three geek up, geek up the same shit. It's funny, the other night we were over here, it was me, Teddy Bear, and Lance, and uh, fucking uh, Cutie Pie and Jacob. Cutie Pie and Jacob kept geeking out, and we're like, me, Lance, Teddy Bear, we're like, what the fuck are they talking about? We don't understand. We're in love, we're like, what the fuck? Geek one and two is over there geeking out. I was like, what? I'm good. <laughs> we're geeking out about Disney. They're geeking out about some some anime show. Oh, that, anime? Yeah, to be alive. It's like me, like, I geek out about Single Moon, like, there's sort of shit I geek out about, but... You you should you should really explore more on the anime scene. Well, I like Fruit Basket, and I, I like Single Moon. Those, like, like I said, explore more into it. Those are the only two I like. There was one I liked as a kid, I forgot... It was by a girl with like red hair. I forgot the name of it, and I, I watched it a bunch as a kid. There's a there's a lot of shonen anime. There's a lot of horror anime. Well, there's a lot of thriller. I'm a basic bitch. Like I'll stick with Sam Moon for Basket <laughs> because what? those are the two I've grown up with. Those are my main two animes. Well, there's only one that I grew up with, and that was Naruto. But I've explored other animes that I'm really into. You didn't like Dra- Dragon Ball Z. I don't know, it was crazy because back in the day when I was a kid and like Pokemon came up, everybody was geeking out about it. I liked it for a minute, I was like, no. But you know what's crazy? Sailor Moon has so many queer people in it. I recently, <laughs> two years ago, I actually binge watched the whole show and I was like, what? There's so many queer people in Sailor Moon. I was like, what? Well, there's. You should watch it sometime because it's, it's fucking <laughs> insane. There's so much adult shit in that show. I'm like, wow, this is a kid. Like, like the one where you saw he gets drunk at a party. <laughs> yeah, I mean, they don't take it. I mean, the fact that you saw he's dating a college guy, she's 14, it's kind of problematic as fuck. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I don't know. I just like Single Moon because that got me on the phone with my ex. Like, I was depressed as fuck. Like, like I started watching it. I was like, oh my God. It got me on my phone. That's why I like Sailor Moon a bunch. Maybe maybe you should get into hentai. You know what's crazy? Houston, they have a coffee shop. They have a cafe shop that they do a custom uh, Sailor Moon theme. And I'm going to go so fucking bad. Oh my god. They, you know, um, I really need to name a Taylor Swift uh, museum. I'm going to go so bad. <laughs> I'm going to go so bad. Mm. Are you ready for summer? You got any big plans besides doing DoorDash and my camping trip? Uh, probably hanging out um, with some of my friends and going to Cincinnati for a little visit because we're having a pool party and we're going to have peanut butter fudge. Peanut butter fudge? Do tell. I've never heard of that. Oh, peanut butter fudge? It's so good! How do you make it? Like, you mix evaporated milk with sugar and then after you do that and after it's done cooking and stuff you like you put take it off the heat to let it cool down and you put marshmallow cream and peanut butter it's not like heaven are you looking <laughs> are you looking forward to fall mm-hmm. i don't know i'm looking forward to it because it's gonna be cool what do you think about all the rain we've been getting i'm like where the fuck did all this shit come from <laughs> Yeah, we've been getting a lot of rain, but... In Texas. Yeah, but for me, it's not really a surprise. Just because, um... Here and there, I'll be getting a lot of rain uh, when I used to live in Ohio. Okay. Do you miss up? Do you miss Ohio, any? The people, yes. The things that Ohio provides, no. What thing does Ohio provide? The only thing they really provide mm. is museums. <laughs> that's about it. Wow, that's fucking boring as hell. Yeah, because the only other thing is maybe going to different locations to like relax, like beaches and stuff like that. Yeah. But literally everywhere has that. So, yeah, it's more of the museums, like the art museum and the... Um, 
Well, that's the only museum I've seen is the art museum. They probably have a science museum also that I've also probably seen. Um, but they probably have other museums too, but those are the only two museums I've been at. Is there, any, is there anything else to do in Ohio besides the museums, or is that it? I think that's about it. Jesus, that's so fucking boring. Like, like even with the like bar stuff, I don't even think I've seen a lot of bars in Ohio. What's your, what is your ideal vacation? Probably traveling to a like new location that I've never been like to Japan. before. Yeah, Japan, Ireland, Germany. Because I'm a nosy bitch. Would you ever want to eventually hook up with Asian guy? After you guys know him. Um, maybe. But, um, I've always lived in the United States. And, like, I don't really plan, per se, on moving just because a lot of my community is mm-hmm. here in the United States. Yeah. So I don't think I would ever like move to Japan. I don't know. I just want to go to visit. I mean like I want to go on trips so bad it's just that I'm always broke like bills and all this shit and it's like not the job hunt and it's just like and then we move to fucking Denton and I'm trying to job hunt and and it's just fucking hard and and it's 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 stressful as hell. What is your favorite card game? At the moment you go but uh, if I explore more into oh it, uh-huh. it, it could possibly be magic. Have you ever played this one? No. What the boy? I even I haven't even played uh, cards, cards against humanity. You do not fucking just say that. <laughs> you did not. <laughs> Cutie pie, did you just hear that? Yeah, but you never played cards against me. You know what just dawned on me? What? I still have my sex card game I bought from the gay sex store we should play it eventually that'd be funny as hell cause, <laughs> yeah. it, cause it has all it has all the positions and stuff so um what games do you not like like card games there there probably haven't been probably any that I don't like I don't I don't like spades hell no what's the one where you're connecting the cards What's it called? And you put them in like a row and you're like trying to like uh, match them. Oh, like from like 10, 9, 8, 7, 6. Yeah, like for example, um, okay. I think it's solid now where it's like king, queen, well, drag, Yeah, when well, you like have them in like a row like this and spread it out like, like cards and you're trying to match them. Is that fucking solitaire? Uh, if you're matching stuff, I, I think it's just a matching card game. Because I was like doing that as a kid. I was, I was like, this, I was like, this keeps me in shape. So, do you think you would ever stop being demisexual, or are you like, that's just who I am? That yeah, that's probably who I am. I don't know. I just, I don't know. when that girl I worked with was telling me, I was like, oh. Well, that's it. Because I'm always teasing her about her wanting to go on dates. And she's like, no, I'm good. No. I'm not, <laughs> I'm not looking to date. She's the one that told me because of my sign. She's like, oh, my God. Oh, my God. I hate people like that. They're possessive and psycho. I'm like, well, thanks, bitch. I guess I'm possessive. <laughs> I mean, <'Cause laughs> she's not wrong. What's my sign? January 28th. I think she said I'm Aquarius. <laughs> no, I don't think you're an Aquarius. What the fuck? Because Aquarius is a water sign, and that's probably around... Actually, no. Actually, no. She might be right. <laughs> oh my god, Aquarius. <laughs> she said apparently the possessor. She said no, apparently they're psycho. I'm like, oh. I am psych. <laughs> but here's the thing. I I can be toxic as fuck. I'm just trying to work, work on not being as toxic. Well, I'm a, I'm a needy ass bitch, so... What the fuck? Go on. Motherfucker. 
Go on, Mr. Needy Ass Bitch. Yeah, like, like I'm a Pisces, so I'm, I'm, I'm really needy. And well, I, I don't think that has to do with my sign. I think it just has to do with um, BPD. Well, and plus, you get the best of us. Well, th thank y'all for watching. I love you. And peace.